Hello, today I'll be discussing Linda Hogan's power. And in the book, we follow Omishto, who is both a member of the Taiga tribe and also a daughter of a westernized woman. Like, her mother was a part of the tribe, but she mainly is westernized in the way she lives. And Omishto has to combat both of these two social structures, one of her history of her father and one she resonates with very deeply, I believe, and one where she's more engaged with since she goes to like high school and her mother is like pushing these Western beliefs on her. And I think that the storm in particular within this story, both the literal and metaphysical, um, the storm really makes Amishtu's eyes like open up in that um, she has to fight for what she believes in, both with the Taiga people or the Taiga tribe people, and the westernized police who, like, don't believe she did right, or she acted in the wrong in this book. And I think that Hogan was trying to get us to think about what our true beliefs are, and that no matter what we're always going to end up being our own continent similar to Amishtu in that we don't follow one like social belief or one social structure we follow a mix of everything and I think that Amishtu really like shows how strong she is in that she doesn't let the westernized social structure get to her and it doesn't force her into a life that she doesn't believe in. Now, since she is 16, she does have to like follow it to some degree, but overall she becomes her own woman and I think that the storm really brings that out in her because she has to learn to trust herself and the way of nature and specifically with the taiga people um like they believe that the panther is the overwhelming like God in that that's how like that's where their people came from and they have to worship it and I think that Amishdu really has to think about where she comes from and where she wants to go in life and I think that Hogan just wants us to try to figure that out for ourselves and I think that by making us think about like what we believe in we can really get down to our core and do things that scare us or that nobody else approves of because that's when we're going to be truly happy and so the medium with it being a novel and like the fact that it's based on real cultures, I think that it makes it more immersive in that we can see the world and create our own world in our heads while we read. And I think that's really powerful. Um, and personally, I want to read more of Linda Hogan's work because it's wonderful. And if you haven't read it, you should definitely give it a read. <laughs>